Hi everyone. So this is going to be the first video on our dragster um, design. Um, you can see my general shape over here on the right side. Um, if you have not downloaded this template yet, you can download this template and I'm going to leave uh, this shape on here just to get so that you all get an idea of how big um, your cartridge area needs to be and where you're going to be putting your axles for your car. Um, some things to remember here, uh, the dragster length is between 260 and 230 and the front wheel is going to be 34 millimeters and the rear wheel is going to be 42 millimeters in diameter. Um, and you can see a lot of this stuff here if we go to canvas and check this out here, make sure I'm on the right course. Sorry everyone, CAD Mac 1. So on this assignment right here, we can check out um, our dragster design project and with this here this template's going to be located here and I'm going to load these new videos up on here but you're going to want to make sure you open up these specs too with the spec specifications right here um, and these have your general specs for your car uh, that we're working with okay so back onto here um, I'm going to show you a few other things here before we get going so this here, um, that wasn't from, this was from first semester. Um, so to get a general idea here, you're going to have multiple components that you're going to be attaching or gluing together. Um, this here is your cartridge housing up top here. This is just to hold it on the back side there. We'll be adding that on. This here is for your wheel base. Um, these attach your wheels and these go on both sides of the wheels. And you can see that if you take a look at some of these examples back here on canvas, um, you can see scrolling through here of all the different parts that go with the car. And we'll have some examples uh, hopefully next week for you guys to all see. Okay, so back here on AutoCAD, uh, I'm going to draw out, um, I'm going to start by drawing out the front of my car. So I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to represent where the front of my car is, and I'm going to do this with my hidden line, okay? And I'd recommend you use the hidden line to help line your drawing up neatly. And I'm going to turn on ortho mode right now. So I'm going to draw a line somewhere right around here, and I'll just draw this into 100. I want to offset this line, so offset, and I want to offset it by 260, just for the max length of the car. And then I'm going to imagine this is the front of my car, so I'm going to offset that by 30. And here we go. Okay, so your car needs to be somewhere between 260 and 230, so somewhere between these two lines. So I'm going to split the difference, and I'm going to offset it by 15, just to make things easy for us here. So I know that my car follows in the specs. So my nose of my car is going to be somewhere on this line right there. So I'm going to delete this one here, and I'm going to delete this one. Next here, I want to know how far up from the bottom I am going to have to put my axles. So these are my axles right here. So if I go back to my specifications, uh, we can see on here that... Oh, I just had it. Um, so the front and rear axle are between 5 and 10 from the bottom of my car. So what I want to do here is I want to represent the bottom of my car. So to represent the bottom of my car here, I'm going to draw another line. And I'll just turn on my ortho mode here. Snap it on. And, or snap, snap mode. Ortho snap. And I want to offset this. Uh, somewhere between 5 and 10, and again, I'm going to split the difference, so I'm just going to go 7. 7 up. So on this line is where my axles are going to go. And what I mean by that is these little holes right here. So imagine this having a center mark on it, and I can add that right now. But if I add a center mark on there, boom. Okay, that's where I'm going to be putting my axles. And the axles are roughly going to be about three, 3 millimeters or so. So on here, um, let's decide how far in, how far from the front and back I want to put my wheels. So I'm going to offset this front line. I'm going to offset this by 20, and we'll see what this looks like here. Boom. And I'm going to do offset by 30 for the back, because I want it a little bit farther forward in the back there. 
Then I'm gonna draw a circle, and I'm gonna do this on a different layer now. And I'm gonna do this on my dragster shape layer, and C for circle, and this circle here, D for diameter, is gonna be five mil. And then C for circle, D for diameter, C for circle, D for diameter, five. Just like so. And then I'm gonna draw some straight lines. Um, this is gonna allow us to attach um, our car together neatly and just allow for the axles to not slide in place. Draw these lines like so and then I can trim out this area here. And I'll trim out this too. And I guess I can trim that too. Trim this for now. We might want to, we might need to add on to it later. We'll see how things go. Okay, so that's where my axles are gonna go. I know that. I'm also gonna draw out my wheels. And I'm gonna put it on my text layer just to differentiate it right now. So if I look back over here, my wheels are gonna be front wheels 34 and rear wheels 42. C for circle. And just to get an idea where these wheels are gonna go. And then D for diameter and I think it was 34. And then same idea, hit back here, circle, D, and then 42. Okay, that's where my, my general, where my wheels are gonna be. All right, now, next here, uh, I wanna start drawing out my shape. And then I'm gonna worry about these little attachment pieces here, and then worry about the cartridge area there in the back. Um, I like using the spline tool to draw that out. So you can also just type in spline or it's also up here in your draw command, draw tools. And I'm gonna do, just use a spline fit. And I'm gonna represent uh, the front of my car. So I'm gonna imagine we're gonna start somewhere. I'm gonna turn off my snaps right now. I wanna start somewhere right around here. And I'm gonna turn off my ortho mode and make sure on my dragster shape layer, different layer. And I just wanna start drawing this out to see what this will look like. That looks kind of cool right there. I'm going to bring this way up. Right, going across like that. And I'll hit the space bar to exit, stop that command. And then I can trim this out, TR for trim. I want to trim that. I want to trim that there at the back end. And then I can should be able to move this too a bit in. So I'm going to move this as close as I can to that line. That looks good right there. Cool. All right, so that's gonna be my general shape that I'm gonna start with. Um, and I can finish this off here on the bottom too. So I'm gonna do another spline. And we're gonna start somewhere right around here-ish. And I'm gonna go to about here. And we'll just see what this looks like. Kind of like that shape a little bit like that. Hit the space bar, close it out, and then I can trim this out too. So I'm gonna trim that out, trim that out and I'll trim this out there. Sweet, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna bring this up a tiny bit too. I don't like that so far down. So that looks good there so it doesn't break. And then I can actually bring this up too if I wanted to. A little bit more just to raise that up. Give it some more aerodynamics. Cool. All right, it's coming together. I got my general uh, dragster shape. Uh, so once you get your dragster shape, I'm gonna pause here on this video and you're going to want to move on to video number two.